angles is not a very difficult skill once you get a little practice with it. Now you'll notice here that I have four different pictures. These are four different types of angles. We're going to name them and we're going to talk about the measurements of each angle. The first one we have here, if you notice, sort of looks like a capital print L. And you'll notice that I have some letters on it, just like I do on the other pictures. Now, when we have an angle that has a square corner, and you'll notice there's a little square right here that looks like a capital L, okay? We call this a right angle. Now, right angles are 90 degrees when we measure them with a protractor. And when we tell what the name of this angle is, this is angle A, B, C, or we can call this angle C, B, A. But notice either way, the B has to be in the center of the letters because that is the vertex of this angle. It's where these two rays meet each other. So we can write this as angle A, B, C, or we can write this as angle C, B, A. Let's take a look at this fraction down, or this angle down here. Now you'll notice this angle looks very much like what you know as a straight line. That's why we call it a straight angle. Now straight angles are basically like taking two right angles and putting them together. Because if I put a ray here, you'll notice that there's a right angle on this side and there's a right angle on this side. So straight angles equal 180 degrees or 90 plus 90. And again, if I were to name this angle, I could call it JKL or I could call it LKJ, making sure that the center point K is in the middle. So I could call this angle JKL or I could call it angle LKJ. Now, what happens if I have an angle that's bigger or smaller than the 90, but it's not a straight angle. Well, those have names too. If you'll notice in this angle, it's wider. So if I were to take a ray and draw it straight up to make that 90 degree right angle, you'll notice that it comes out wider. We call this an obtuse angle. Okay. I like to say, ah, your mouth makes a very wide open when you say the O, and this is a wide angle, okay? So these angles are going to be greater than 90 degrees, but they're not going to be as much as 180. So it could be 127. It could be 95. Either way, these angles are going to be greater than 90. But what happens if it's smaller than 90 degrees or if it's smaller than that right angle? For example, this one. We call these acute angles. It's a cute little angle because it's smaller than the 90 degree angle. So this angle may be something like 60 degrees or 40 degrees. They're much smaller than a 90 degree angle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna practice looking at some pictures of angles to see if you can name those angles. So let's take a look at this angle right here. Now, you'll notice that this angle does not have any letters in it. So we can't actually give it a name unless we were to put some points in it. But really all we're doing is telling what kind it is, an acute, a right, or an obtuse. Now, what I sometimes like to do is take the center point and draw straight up to make that 90 degree right angle. It helps to, to determine whether or not I'm greater or smaller than that. Well, in this case, you'll notice we're way over here compared to the 90 degree angle or the right angle. So since it's greater than a right, this is going to be an obtuse angle. If we take a look at this angle, 
I'm going to draw that ray coming straight up. Again, I'm way over here. I'm greater than that right angle. So this is also an obtuse angle. Okay. So take a look at this angle. See if you can figure out what type of angle this is, acute, right, or obtuse. If I draw that right angle in, you'll see that it is another angle that is greater than that 90 degree right angle. So this is also an obtuse angle. Take a look at this one. See if you can figure out whether this is a right, an acute, or an obtuse angle. If I draw in that right angle, now you see this time we're smaller. So this is an acute angle, acute little angle. It's smaller than that 90 degrees. We have two angles left to look at. So pause the video and see if you can figure out what this and this angle would be called, acute, right, or obtuse. Okay, did you figure it out? This angle right here looks like a capital L, nice and straight up. So this is that right angle, okay? You'll notice here that it is curved instead of showing the square, but if you look at it, it's pretty much straight up and straight across, so that would be a right angle. What about this one? Well, this is one of those little angles if I put that right angle in there. So this would be an acute angle. I hope this helps you understand how to use right, obtuse, and acute to name angles.